Hey guys, welcome to Minecraft. We are not going to be just playing any old Minecraft. No, 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 no. Today, we are going to be starting a modded series based off of a couple of my favorite mods in this game, and that being Create and Mine Colonies. So the thing with these two mods is, with the Create mod, it adds tons and tons of different contraptions and mechanisms and all kinds of gizmos and and doodads and things that add in like this rotational power source and with this rotation rotational power you can make all sorts of interesting things and contraptions that that automate and create all kinds of stuff anything that you can imagine and this mod is is massive and it adds so much to this game it, it it's it's such an amazing mod i wish it was vanilla another really important mod as i mentioned is going to be mine colonies and now mine colonies that's that's an old favorite of mine it adds in basically a city building element to minecraft and what the city building mod does is you basically become this mayor or king or whatever you want to call it of this little colony and it kind of turns minecraft into like a, a strategy game and you get to plan out where you want your buildings to build how many guards to train which villagers to assign where and all kinds of cool stuff i really really enjoy the mine colonies mod and honestly playing mine colonies with create well honestly playing create with anything they just kind of complete each other but anyway, we're going to be playing with some, a few other mods as well, not just Create and Mine Colonies. Those are just the two major ones, but we do have some minor mods that, that add on some exploration and, and some extra tools and stuff like that. So um, we will talk about those as we go on, but uh, for now, we need to get started. So for this first episode, I'm going to need to get my bearings and just kind of get it established a little bit. Both of the mods, both the major mods are going to require a lot of resources and that's going to that's going to take some time. So I probably won't be getting into mine colonies until a few episodes in, but um, create we can probably start pretty soon. So I've already checked out this map. I picked out a perfect place that I want to kind of build my colony and base my base around. And that's going to be, let's see. Yeah, that's going to be way over here. So it's going to be about 3000 blocks and the negative X axis. So we've got some walking to do to get there. But in the meantime, I'm going to need to find my resources, maybe craft a bed, collect stuff as we as we march our way over there and yeah just kind of try to survive a little bit this series will be completely in survival so i'm going to try to do my best to not die but of course i'm not going to be afraid to die i'm not we're not playing on hardcore or anything like that but it's uh yeah i mean i don't want i don't want to die well might as well start with collecting some wood here and getting some basic tools started Okay, there we go. So I want to talk about one of the first mods I have to, other than the, the major ones, um, that's going to be a tree chopping mod. So cut down the entire tree. So mine colonies especially is going to use a lot of wood. So having a, some sort of tree chopping mod is going to be, going to be a must really. Oh, Hey, we found a first iron. Nice. Oh, of course I can't get that yet. Okay, so I left spawn and went the opposite direction of where I need to be going because I knew in my scouting that there is this little village here and I wanted to get some supplies and whatnot and see what I can get from it to just help us get established. There's a lot of hay bales that could be converted back into wheat here, so that'll give us an early food source to get started. So yeah, I'm definitely glad. Ooh, there's watermelons too. Definitely glad I came over here. So we're going to loot this village and uh, yeah, it's getting dark. Um, yeah, we have a bed here too. So um, and then we'll make our way back in the morning. 
Well, we made it back to spawn area from the savannah. Definitely that savannah village was really, really lucrative. I got a lot of good stuff from there. So we are getting established. And yeah, on, on the spawn kind of mountain, there's a lot of iron and gold up here. So I took advantage of that as well. And as soon as this stuff is done smelting up, we're going to start working our way a little closer to where we're going to call home. And that's going to lead us through actually quite a few biomes. I see there is a jungle biome there, birch, and dark oak. So I'm going to be collecting whatever I can on the way. And I think there's also a village out there too. I, I, I don't remember exactly, but but yeah, so a lot of good stuff. Definitely want to have a good start for, for the series. This is the only way to travel over a dark dark oak forest. Oh, look at that. We've got ourselves a mansion. Nice. Uh, I don't think I could quite take it on right now. I mean, I've barely got any armor as it is. But, uh, yeah, definitely some other time we're going to have to we're gonna have to take that on. So, yeah, as you can see, we are pretty full. So, I'm looking to make... I need, I need string right now because if I could get string, I can make a backpack. So this is another mod that we have, and yeah, if I can get a little bit of string, I've got the leather, I could get this backpack, and hopefully that can give us a little more room here. But yeah, definitely, definitely on the on the lookout for some spiders. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to come back to that to that mansion there. So that's too bad, but you know that's how it is. I don't think it's that far. We are about four five hundred blocks in, so. Um, our base is going to be at negative 3,000, so it's not too awful far from from our home. Well, we finally made it. So this was a 3,000 block journey. Yeah, negative 3,000, uh, positive 392. So yeah, this is where we're going to build our base. It's going to be right down there, right behind me. So I chose this area because of kind of the the nice big mountains behind i mean i kind of wanted a backdrop to our little village here and i don't know this this one looked pretty nice it was it was a nice snowy mountain in a tiaga biome right next to an ocean and surprisingly that was a little hard to find so i'm glad we found this place so anyway let's take a look around so what we got here is our mountain. So mountains are there. We have room to build some docks and maybe kind of like a little shipping area. And if you come around here, this little hill in the middle here, I need to take this entire thing down. This hill right here in front of us. Yeah, I got to bring it way, way, way down to probably down to the hills to the right. So that's going to be a project and the create mod is going to help us with that. I'm thinking that little snowy mountain is going to be like the center of the village or at least where our cat, our um, town center is going to be. But down here, a lot of this water is going to get covered up to be about even with the mountains. And that's where we'll build our shipping area. But yeah, pretty much our entire village is going to be right here in this little area. Now the surrounding area is pretty nice too. I probably won't be building out to here or anywhere past this water or out into this dark oak forest. Yeah, that might be a bit far for me. So I might be building some walls here. I'm not 100% sure how much room we're going to need, but yeah, this is it. Now another cool thing I noticed is if you come on down here... There's some evidence of the deep dark and this, yeah, this is fun stuff. We've got a whole ancient city right underneath us right here. So that's going to be pretty fun to explore. So this is, this is one ancient city and there's actually another ancient city a little ways away. It's not that far. It almost connects to this one. But yeah, I'm, an, I'm actually quite excited to explore that. Lots of lush caves and even some drips, dripstone nearby. So 
we definitely have a pretty interesting area here and uh yeah leading up to it we kind of hit most of the biomes anyway so yeah most of the biomes are around there's even a mushroom island out in the water too so yeah i'm really excited to be building here anyway i need to start out by getting myself established here and yeah get my pockets emptied out we raided another village and uh, got some diamonds out of it so that's pretty nice i can i can actually get myself a pick i got three of them so that was pretty lucrative but yeah we got some starting stuff like some jungle saplings and acacia and dark oak so we are we're pretty set up Ooh, lots of iron too so You know, with the Caves and Cliffs update, it's made climbing mountains extremely scary because you never know when you're going to hit. I think that's that's it. Yeah, that's powdered snow right there. Yeah, and that stuff just spells death and destruction. So I'm going to stay off the hill for a while, but oh, it's getting dark. We need to get down here and we need to get, get established. We need to, I don't know, dig into the wall or something just so we can get some chests laid down, uh, some furnace and start on maybe some create contraptions. Yeah, this looks like as good of a place as any. Just going to carve right into the mountainside here just to get ourselves established and kind of a little nest. Okay, so we got ourselves a little place carved out here, and I've been making use of a nice little mod that helps mining go by a little quicker, and that's this, the stone hammer. So these things are crafted, I mean you can make shovels, you can make hammers, um, yeah, that's it, I think. <laughs> um, and this mod's a little on the cheaty side, but I mean... I really like it just it makes the tedious stuff go by fit faster and this thing's just basically crafted with nine stone pickaxes so it is a little costly and it's got the durability of a pickaxe as well so of a single pickaxe so all this thing does is it mines out a three by three all at once so yeah I mean I I like it now Another thing I want to show off is, well, we, we broke into this lush cave that I didn't know was here. And I kind of don't want to deal with this thing right now. So, and I've got another mod that I want to show off. And it's called the Effortless Build Mod. So, what the Effortless Build Mod does is basically, well, it makes building faster. So, you hold down the Alt button and it brings up this nice little wheel here. And I can do all kinds of stuff like make this floor here. So, I've got a piece of cobblestone selected. I can click here. And I can basically build a floor super quick. There we go. And... Yeah, keep it going. There we go. Nice and easy. And then you could do the same thing with walls too. So let's say, you know, I'm going to turn that off just for a second. Get a torch out here. Okay, let's say I don't want to deal with this over here. So I can do walls. And there we go. Block that off. So this mod is really nice. You could do all kinds of stuff with it. So yeah, definitely worth looking into i like this mod for well i if i got a large area that i need to fill in eventually we're going to fill in a lot of water right here and using this mod to, just to lay down floors is a humongous help this mod also comes with things like these randomizer bags so you fill these bags up with different different blocks and it will randomize which block you place down so we'll go more into depth with those a little later on but for now just these simple applications are enough for me yeah it sure does beat placing blocks one at a time especially when you got a big build going well it's not much for now but you know what it's a start so um 
I'm going to go out and start clearing up some of these trees here. Oh, we got some pillagers. Okay, we got to watch out for those guys. Do not want to bother them. Um, but anyway, we are going to start clearing up some of these trees. There's just a lot of trees in the way. And by cleaning up these trees, hopefully we can get a better idea of, well, clearing off this mountain as well. So I want to start our colony as soon as possible. And yeah, first step is definitely clearing and leveling the land. Alright, I think we got a good chunk of this hill taken care of. Uh, we definitely we definitely got a lot of trees knocked out. Let's take a look here. So most of the trees are gone. We do have some other trees like over here that we want to take out as well. But for now, I really wanted to focus on taking out the trees on this hill just because I'm going to start start up create and I'm going to use create to remove this hill. I know I mentioned it before, but yeah, um, yeah, this was a, a good little project for our first episode and definitely couldn't be done without a tree chopping mod. So I went through a lot of stone axes to, to get this done, but would have been a lot more without it and a lot more time too. So yeah, we also, uh oh, we also had to make some leather boots so that way we could survive this stupid powdered snow up here. So um, looking forward to getting rid of all this. Oh, I'm sure you guys are wondering how much... Uh-oh, it's raining. I'm sure you guys are wondering how much wood I actually got out of that. So I got about two and a little bit of chests worth of spruce logs out of that. Um, I probably could have got more with a better axe, but that's pretty good, I want to say, for a first episode. And, yeah... Going up and down those hills took a while too, so... Oh, it looks like I missed a tree over there. But, uh... Yeah, so... Next episode, definitely gonna get established with Create. And start seeing what that has to offer. Maybe start building a contraption to take out this mountain. Not quite sure yet. Well, just, I guess it just takes... I guess it just depends on how long it takes to get established with Create. But, anyway... I hope you guys are enjoying so far, and if you have, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.